Let's go, number one, one, one. Um, one. We're gonna get right into our next topic. Oh, is it a crime? Oh, oh, okay. Right. Slow it slow what down. are we doing? Oh, oh, is it a crime? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, it's not like boys and men vibes. Is, is it a crime? <laughs> hey, like, I was like, is I he know. here? That sounds like a soccer article. <laughs> <on the> <laughs> Man, we're having too much fun. Oh, yeah, so um, that's hilarious. So, man. We got your guy Usher hit the Super Bowl, big thing. Man, that's going to be so cool, man. He's such a great performer. These are my confessions. I love Usher. I like, love Usher. I, 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 it's going to be great. I'm, I'm like the only one in America that's not like... What? What you about to say? That's not like... Uh, She's not going crazy over say that crazy. Not crazy over it. She's not going, going crazy over, over. Well, I, like, I like him. I, I enjoy his music. I just I'm this, not going crazy. So like if you enjoy his music and you like, him, she's not the only one though. I've heard that from. There's there's people that and and I'm really? not I'm not knocking anyone, but there's a generation that grew up with Chris Brown. I understand, and oh. I know a lot of Chris Brown fans. Stop. But that's love the thing. Chris Brown. I, so I'm in the I'm, I get in the, it. I'm in the Usher generation. I I so I'm I am there. I just. I don't know. I feel like we've had hip hop the last nah, like. Man, just, I feel like we've yeah. had hip hop artists the last like two or well, three. Well, hello, Jay Z and Rock Nation own the Super Bowl <laughs> halftime show now, so you can see. It. I know, but you gonna see Rock Kim up there. I just want to see a little variation. I, 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 I don't think know I think it. he's doing it. Uh, it sort of it makes me laugh because I think of his lyric when he says, uh, "Doing it for all the years." They. Um, they did what they did to the Cold Crush. Yes, you know, yeah. basically. So doing this for what he, you did to the Cold yeah, Crush. Yeah, he's doing yeah. this. So he's doing this for all them years <laughs> that we didn't have no person of color performance. Uh, no. And that's yeah. I'm not. I'm not hating on it. I'm yeah, not hating on well, it. I'm just like not super excited. Okay. Like, and right. well, I, well, for me, I think that the question is: Is he going to put on a great performance? Yes. Yes. Is he going to sound amazing? Yes. Yes. So he's gonna look amazing and he's gonna dance amazing. Let let me tell you something. There's only two. I've went to many concerts in my day. Thank God. There's two acts that I seen that made me actually forget like who I actually came to see. Oh, and okay. I don't mean that in a bad way, but it, their performances were so great. They stole the show. Okay, who are they? One was Mint Condition. They opened up for Prince. Mint Condition was so good. I remember being at the show. I was just like. Man, wait a minute. No, man, condition. Who, who, they had a, who's they had coming a on after? Who's coming on after that? And I was like, oh yeah, I'm here to see Prince. Prince tore it up, of course. The next one was Usher. Usher, I remember this was early in his day. We're talking my way. Yeah. Okay. Wow. So, so you know, Usher opens up for Janet Jackson. We're sitting there like, okay. First, I'm like, what's this dude gonna do? By the time he finished, I was like, who, who am I here to see again? <laughs> oh yeah, Jan Janet's coming up. <laughs> So, so, and this was Usher back in my way days. So I just want to let y'all know. I mean, this he, is this is. He was years always ago. hard. Oh, he was always. Yeah. So I yeah, know Usher's yeah. gonna bring it. Well, yeah. this this is the other thing with the show. I'm, I'm thinking of nostalgia is so in right now. It of course. is so in. So I think that they did pick a really good person like for that aspect of it. Well, for sure. I, I love how you said nostalgia is in right now. And for me, Instagram, social media, it's all nostalgia. They're taking new songs today and putting old instrumentals right. and right. blending them yeah. together because the new songs today are trash can. They're not as good as they were well, back in the day. We're also not from this, n n no offense to anybody in this room, yeah. mean, maybe except for Flicks by Jay, but we're not <laughs> in Flix that. is the only one that's seven we're years old in, in here that with that generation. <laughs> Flix, so, Flix, no. <laughs> Flix seven years old. Everybody else old. <laughs> Flix, Flix, no, Flix know that what's up. He know what's up. <laughs> no, but it's, uh, that's a good question. Who would you like to see? Did you know Usher? Do you know Usher? Yes. Okay. Do you know Usher? Now listen, yes. you know it's not crazy. I don't want to put, but, put Flicks on blast because when, when we played Summertime, he was like, oh, this is a hot record. Who is this? I'm like, it's Will he, Smith. He didn't know the Fresh Prince. He knows DJ Usher. But that just let you know, so it's not too crazy. So, yeah, I know Usher. I like Usher. But I'm not crazy about Usher. Okay, there yeah, you go. Yeah. Okay, okay. I mean, but well, his mom used to listen to Usher. <laughs> <laughs> I need to tell us your thoughts. I need to have it a moment. I love Usher. Uh -huh. I mean, if you don't like his songs and his lyrics, just watch him slide and glide. <laughs> hey, hey, yo. Slide oh, she's glide. a fan from day one. Yeah, she's a fan fan. Have no. you seen him before? Not in person, no. Uh -huh. he's, so, like, he's on my bucket list. Okay. Oh yeah, you know he's still in Vegas. I don't, I think he's he's extended his time. I think it's till the end of October. You know, Usher is uh, you know holding what October back. October is right. What? It's my birthday month. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, here we go yeah, with the birthday so, month. You know, <laughs> can you want to take the me? Day, the month. <laughs> All right, no, she want to take me. Good, good slide in there. Look at how she slid that in there. I like that, Anita. That's what I'm talking about. Hey, that I, she threw me off with the birthday month. Yeah. Everybody have a month. Why do people still do a month? 
Because why, why not? Why is it? They can. No, I, but why I do you want to be bored? I, I'll share it with other people. I have friends whose birthdays are like uh, exactly a week later. I give them their week. What's the date in October? Eleventh. Uh, Eleventh. So right you're celebrating now. on October first. Oh, you're right going to be now. celebrating on the first. What's the celebration? That it's October. Okay, <laughs> and on the seventh, we're celebrating what? That's right. That we're getting closer to the eleventh. Yeah. <laughs> no, seven lucky day, lucky number. Hey. Okay. Yeah. You oh, got right. seven. Yeah, you got a few days. You know, to throw that invite over, say, hey, what yeah. do I do for your birthday lunch? Okay. All right. Okay. All <laughs> right. I mean, they already know we had this conversation last time we were up here in you know November. The whole month in November is Francois season. <laughs> <laughs> it's Francois season. Francois I'll season. play them games. <laughs> You know, it is the season. Hey, um, I, I'm making a bet right now. I I think that the Usher halftime is going to be top five. You know what? I think it's going to be top I, I five will, most viewed. So I will say I'm, this. I'm, I'm putting it out there. Mm -hmm. Right here. I'm yeah. putting it out there. Us, okay. Usher got to do me a favor. I just need two songs. Which one? It, he got to take me back to Atlanta. I need that Little John. And that little oh, Chris, yeah. yeah, of course he and, I, and, I need, and I and I need lovers and friends. I just need those two well, songs. Well, he's definitely not doing lovers and friends. It's not happening. Well, I I, I need those two songs. He can, he can. Well, cause just, you know why he's not doing lovers and friends though? Yeah, because of the whole yeah uh, the the, lo yeah. the, well, the I lawsuit. Know. I think it's over with. Yeah, it's over with. So so basically, uh, are we talking about the lawsuit or no? You, you, you could talk about it real uh, quick. So lovers and friends was a uh, an amazing song by um, Usher, Big Lil, Lil oh, John, Major. Yeah. But what happened was it came out from another individual in uh, Florida as well. He created it first. Mm. What they did was they took basically the whole the riffs, the, everything from the song, and they created and did it their own without getting the permission from the original artist. And that's why they they didn't push it any further. With music, because it was a major hit. Oh, it was a big hit. Major hit. Um, I, I do want to hear what our listeners have to say about what they think about this um, Usher halftime performance oh, yeah. and what their thoughts are on it. Of so if course. any of you guys are listening, come and give us a call. 805-246-5088. That's right. Yes. Eight oh five two four six five zero eight eight. Hey, but we're gonna take a quick break. This is Ashton. I know you love weekend friends. I do. This is your movie right back. <laughs>